Welcome back to Play Prison. We are still here in the uh, tournament of Ultra Street Fighter 4 with Aaron, Ballistic Robot, who is fighting online at this moment against various opponents of skill and prowess. Some of no skill. Some of no skill whatsoever, some of no class. Most of no class. Most of no class, I doubt they've ever even heard of school. Now he's going up against Mikey, oh no, playing as Evil Ryu. And just by sheer fact that he's playing Evil Ryu... Playing his crazy, weird, evil Ryu... In a samurai outfit. A samurai costume that's come mostly come apart into becoming floating towels. That's a theme with characters in this game, isn't it, Chris? That is indeed. That is indeed. I believe if we were to go to Party City right now and go to the floating towels department, it would be empty. I have to say, I enjoy Mario running around in the background, but he needs to move to a different set of beams or else he might get knocked off by the ferocity of this battle occurring. Oh, very true. A gentleman usually likes to maybe punch his opponent before killing him with a Hadouken, but this Ryu doesn't seem to care. It would seem that Guile says, bitch, get on the other side of the screen. But we can see in the background, evil Ryu will have none of that. Oh, an EX Sonic Boom breaks through. Seems to be trading off projectiles right now. Oh, very nice. Oh, very nice. Trading it off. Showing the demon who's bossed. Trading off blow for blows, but Ryu's still under <laughs> Ryu's still under the impression that he's just gonna eat nothing but egg whites when he eats his eggs. Ugh. And Guile flash kicks the demon and completes part one of the exorcism. Now, do you think it's a demon, or maybe he is angry and still on the drugs from the open heart surgery he woke up during and fled the hospital? Look at his chest. I see his, open wounds. I see the chest, I see the gaping open wounds, but I'm not sure which drugs FDA approved or otherwise produce Red flames from the from your skin. That's true. That's a very rare side effect, Justin. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go with demon possession here on this on the, on the sole stance that no one in their right mind, What's even the, on drugs, would wear a floating towel. What is the hole in this chest then? Is that where the demon entered his body? Probably where the demon entered his body. It might have been that Ryu was having a fight in a party city at the time, Off and true. party city is known to attract that kind of crowd. Off true. I have gone many times into party city and seen people with holes in their chests. And I've gone and said, Sir, Madam, are you okay? And they've looked at me and said, Trubalux! And shot a fireball at me. That was the last time I went to that party city. Very dangerous time. I would perfectly understand. Um, after all, you can just get green cups for St. Patrick's Day anywhere, Chris. Very true. You don't need to pay $17 for a All manner cups. of cup colors. All manner of napkin colors. Make your own displays. Party city. Party city. Proud sponsor of Scorpion King 3 and 4. He's frippling out of his own victory. I don't he even is. understand. He probably doesn't even understand where he's fighting. Demon Ryu. It seems I've to just be realized something, Justin, that might be changing this fight in a completely different route. What? He is wearing an orange headband. He's a zombie. Oh my God, that's absolutely true. It makes so much more sense. That is the teeth, the ravenous attitude, the uh, eyes that are nowhere near human anymore. He has lost all sense of reality. You can saw that in his victory stance before it was cut off short, that he was freaking out at his own victory as if he forgot that he was goddamn Ryu. True. Oh, look oh. the ultra. And the X stomp. Demon Ryu puts up and one hell of a fight. Match. He's got his ropes. His back is actually on fire, I noticed. Looks like some heartburn. Or he's just... He's just very angry. He's still very angry. Well, he'll go on, tag some more human players, and he'll get through his day. Very true, Chris. Very true. Going back to creating a match. Preparing to see who's going to be next in here. It's very, it's a very different kind of game. This you see, uh, you see the person, but that is not always the person they will play. It's like as if there are two people on the other side of the match. A, uh, a, a fighter and then a, uh, a player, if you will. Haitian concept. What is a Haitian concept, Justin? I think that's actually a form of torture where you just scalp a man's dick. Scalping the dick. That is a very, very competent way of torture. Very little a man won't tell you when you scalp his dick. Or even the very that. Now, is that when you, when you scalp the dick head or scalp the base of the dick and get pubes? 
Scalping is usually when you grab hair, cut the skin out from under it. Oh, it's definitely grabbing hair. It's definitely a hair grabbing technique. That's why it's called a concept and not of the Haitian, you know, flim dam. The Haitian haircut. Yes. As it's known over here. Speaking of Haitian haircut, I believe they're at the place where it is performed. Either that, or this is the special education concert. I think you might be right on that. I'm looking at those guys dance around in the background, Chris, and I can't help but be slightly amused by their ability to play the drums with their fists. That's very true. And the guy in the back is headbanging like a monster. To metal music that does not exist. I'll tell you what, though. This dictator certainly knows what he's doing. This dictator certainly can take a dick. You know, it's not very often you get gentlemen that run third world countries who actually also fight their own battles and don't wear the color gray. That is true. That is very true. That is a very, very rare concept. I would also like to break down, since we're talking about words and their meaning, the word dictator. It has dick, slang for penis, and it has tater, slang for potato. So, dick potato here, obviously, knows what he's doing. Penis potato. Penis potato, also known as M. Bison, is... Oh my gosh. He's just... He's like a grinning horse monster of a man. I believe so. I believe the, uh... How do you think that happened? Was it horse blood transfusion? Uh, love made to a horse? Maybe one of his parents was a horse? I'm thinking one of his parents was a horse. Would that side effect also call into question the uh, purple energy he exploits? Uh, I think so. I'll tell you what, though. It's gotta be... A, I wouldn't go for a horse parentage, you know. Oh, I got a text for a band name. Scrotal Integrity. <laughs> Jesus. Multiple interruptions, but that's okay. Yeah. Are we continuing, or do we wish to kind of call it here? I can't remember when the last time was. I think we've got we've a been good so amount involved, of episodes for the we've time We've been so involved in our commentary. Well, anyway, thanks a lot, folks, for hanging around, listening to us jabber on like morons while two people punch each other with imaginary avatars. Thank you very much. We'll be back next time with more of Street Fighter Four. Ultra Online with Ballistic Robot. Have a good night.